Uh, as we mentioned before, uh, the, the it lacking from the female part to involve with the STEM uh, field. Uh, in order to uh, encourage the girl or the female to involve more in this uh, field, it's important to uh, implement it since they are young age. I mean that uh, the women think that the STEM is more complicated for the field of, uh, if they uh, apply them to the future career. So it's hard for them. So mostly they, they have the wrong uh, concept. Like the more complicated uh, field should be belong to the guy, uh, belong to the man. So uh, it's better to uh, distribute this knowledge to them in the early age. Yeah, early age. I mean that uh, uh, our society is still lacking of the uh, information related to STEM. So in order to push them, so it's important to provide enough information to provide enough knowledge about STEM to them. Because uh, in the, uh, as I note, in the curriculum, in the uh, uh, primary school, secondary school, or even high school, uh, the integrate between the four discipline, these four discipline is still like somehow like lacking, not really integrate. It like kind of separate. So it's important to in integrate those four discipline and apply it to the real uh, application, real world application. So from the basic to the higher. So when they uh, average to, I mean, they understand well from the basic to the uh, the advanced level they will be more interesting. And uh, one more thing uh, led to the uh, family. I mean, uh, uh, I remember the word from uh, Aung San Suu Kyi. Uh, she said that uh, before edu educate your kid, educate your mother. So influence from the family is important. The education from the family is important. If uh, the family lack of those knowledge and discourage their kid, especially female, and they don't give the opportunity to the female. They only give the opportunity to the male. So, of course, the bias between the female and male is much, uh, it will be occurred.